Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So ito naman po. What if we're going to have um, factoring trinomials and we're in these trinomials, the first term or the x squared would have a numerical coefficient that is more than 1. So paano po natin kaya sasagutan po yun? So for example, let's have this 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. So, same process lang po ng ginagawa natin sa factoring trinomials. But we need to be sure na tama po yung pagkakamultiply po natin by cross multiplication. And the result of this product should be the middle term. So, ano po ba yun? Sabi nga natin, if the last term is positive, then your answer should be both positive or both negative depending on the middle term. Very good. And then, if the last term is negative, then your answer should be 1 positive and 1 negative. Very good. So, let's try this one. The 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. So, by writing this, so what are the factors of 2x squared? x squared would have x and x. Very good. And then 2, of course, you only have one option or one pair of um, factors. So that would be 2x and x. Very good. And how about 4? What are we going to do? So actually, there are two options. That would be 2 and 2. 1 and 4. Very good. So let's try this for the 2 and 2. 2 and 2. And then by doing the cross multiplication, so 2x times 2, yung resulta nun doon sa part na itatapat dito po. So 2x times 2 is 4x. And then another cross multiplication, x times 2, that is 2x. So sa tingin po ba ninyo, since the last term is negative, one should be positive and the other one is negative. So, doon daw, ilalagay yung sign ng middle term sa mas mataas na product. Sino mas mataas na product? 4x. Very good. Then, the other one is positive. But my question is, what is the result of having the positive 2x and negative 4x? That's negative 2x. Is that the middle term that we have here? No. So, again, let's look for another pair of factors, 2x and x. And let's say we have 1 and 4. Tama po ba? 1 and 4 are factors of the last term which is 4. So, ang number 1 na sinusulat po kasi natin dito are the factors of the first term and the factors of the last term. Okay? So, yun po yung nakasulat dyan. And then, by cross multiplication again, 2x times 4, the result is 8x. Ayun, doon po po siya sinusulat. Ha? Nakita po ninyo alignment. After the cross multiplication, kung saan po siya isinasulat dapat. And then, x times 1 is simply 1x. Or, x na lang po. Now, sabi nga natin, if the last term is negative, negative and positive ang sign po natin. The middle term is negative 7x. So, so, the sign of the middle term should be given to the product that is greater than the other one. Sino po yung mas mataas? 8x. So, this is negative and the other one will be positive. Uh, let's try. What's the answer for this one? The positive 1x and negative 8x. It's negative 7x. Oh, pareho na tayo nung nakuha ang middle term. So, ang babalikan po natin ay yung ginawa natin dito. Yan. Yung sign na katapatan nila, yun yung ilalagay po natin sa kahilera nila. Yan. Then, minus. Si 1x dito, dito siya. Then yung kay 8x, dito siya. Ang kailangan natin na sagot ay yung nasa graph na to. Ito po yung magpares. Yung lahat na nasa taas yung magkasama sa isang quantity. Tapos lahat na nasa baba yung magkasama sa isang quantity. Therefore, our answer will be 2x plus 1 and x minus 4. Okay? Sige po. So that's the final answer. Let's try another one para naman ma-sure po tayo. Okay? So, the given for this one will be 5x squared plus x minus 18. Alas, sir, ano po yan? Ibig sabihin, 1 na lang po dapat yung matitira sa middle term nila. So, let's look for the factors that we have for this one. So, that will give us 1. 
So, of course, if 5x squared, the factors would be 5x and x. And then how about 18? So, we have many options. 118, 63, 92. Parang bet ko na si 92. Tingnan natin. So, 9 and then 2. So, cross multiplication, 5x times 2. The result is 10x. O, tingnan maiki ha. Kung paano ko isinusulat yung result. Hindi yung kung saan nyo lang siya basta isulat. x times 9 is 9x. And since the last term is negative, isang negative, isang positive. The sign of the middle term will be the sign of the greater product. And that is 10x. So this is positive and the other one is negative. What will be the result of having positive 10x and negative 9x? Under the addition of integers, this will be positive x. Pareho na po ba tayo ng middle term? Yes, very good. So, kung pareho na tayo ng middle term, balikan natin yung ginawa natin. So, dito po, ito yung babalikan natin dyan. Yan. So, yung sign na nakuha natin dito sa tapat na hilera nila, ito si plus, si plus naman, dito naman. Okay, so therefore, our final answer for this one will be O, oh, ito na yan, yung magkapares. Yung lahat na nasa taas magkasama, lahat na nasa baba magkasama. So, that's 5x minus 9, and then x plus... O, oh, ba? Ayan lang po yun. Kayang-kaya nyo yan. So, that's the final answer for this one. Another one. Sige. Isa pa, para mas lalong masanay ang lahat po sa atin. We have here 4x squared plus 4x Minus 15. So, that will be... Oh, bet ko talaga 2x and 2x. 5 and then 3. Factors of 4x squared, 2x and 2x. Factors of 15, 5 and 3. So, by cross multiplication, 2x times 3 is 6x. Tingnan maigi kung saan ko po pinoposisyon ha. 2x times 5 is 10x. Negative na naman yung dulo. So, isang positive, isang negative. So, positive 4x, ang sign niya mapupunta sa mas mataas na product. Then, yung isa ay negative. Ano kung lalabas dyan? It's positive 4x. Very good. So, sa positive 4x po na yan, hanapan po natin. At yan ay yung middle term. Tama na po yung ginawa natin. So, yung sign ng hilera na to. So, positive si 10x. So, plus... Yung sign ng hilera na to, negative si 6x o negative. Okay? And then, eto lang yung magiging final answer natin. Yung lahat na nasa taas, hindi po kasama yung minultiply. Yung naging result. Okay? So, the quantity of 2x plus 5 times the quantity of 2x minus 3. So, ayan na po. Diba? Unti-unti, kaya, masasanay at masasanay. Diba? What if I have here the given to be um, 2x squared plus 11x plus 12? Okay, so look for the factors po ulit tayo. Of course, 2x squared, 2x and x. Wala tayong ibang option dyan, alam niyo yan. Okay, and then the other one is 12. Oh, maraming options, so gusto ko 3 and 4. Since positive ang dulo, ibig sabihin both positive or both negative lang ang options. So, eh dahil positive ang middle term, both positive dapat. So, let's try to multiply. 2x times 4, 8x. x times 3, 3x. Okay? So, this should be both positive. Ano po kaya magiging result? Positive 11x. Pareho na po ba sa middle term? Middle term? Yes, very good. So, yung signs nila, pantay lang. At kung sino magkakasama, yung lahat ng nasa taas at lahat ng nasa baba yung magkasama sa quantity. So, tingnan may ito yung sisulat ha. 2x plus 3. And then the other quantity is x plus 4. Very good. So, that will be your final answer. Ah, next, kayo naman ang mag-try. Pakitesting naman po ito. So, I have here... Um, 3x squared minus 5x minus 2. So, what do you think will be the factors of this given 
Try nyo mo yan. Pakipause yung video, pakipakitry. At ito na nga. O, oh, diba? So, factors, of course, 3x squared would only have 3x and x. How about 2? So, dito kailangan makuha ang tamang partner. Will it be 1, 2 or 2, 1? It's 1, 2. Testing natin. 3x times 2 is 6x. x times 1 is 1x. Dahil negative yung dulo, very good. Isang positive at isang negative ang sagot po natin. And uh, middle term is negative, doon natin ilalagay sa mas mataas na product and then the other one will be positive. Ano po ang resulta nitong dalawa? Negative 5x. Very good. So, tama po tayo. Lagay na lang yung signs. So, si positive 1x, ito po siya. Kahilera niya si 3x plus 1. So, plus yon. Pati si negative 6x, ang kahilera na x and 2. So, dito yung minus. So, answer is 3x plus 1 and x minus 2. So, we got the correct answers. Congratulations po. Uh, last one, para mas sanay ng sanay at it, i-level up natin ng konti ang game pet. 9x squared minus 47x plus 44. Sige nga po, again, pause this video and try to answer this one. Sige nga. At ito na nga ulit. <laughs> so, medyo madami-dami yung mga options for ano natin dyan, for factors. But we're going to use 9x and x. And then the partner will be 11 and 4. Check po natin kung paan. 9x times 4 is 36x. Very good. x times 11 is 11x. Dahil positive ang last term, answer should be both positive or both negative. And negative si middle term. So it should be both negative. What will be the result? It's negative 47x. So, Tama po yung nakuha natin factors. Then yung sign, isulat dun sa kahilera niya. So, si negative 11x, dito siya. Negative 36x, dito po siya. So, final answer, 9x minus 11 and x minus 4. So, we got the correct answer. Very good. Kayang-kaya niya na po yan. Okay? So, again, good luck and do your best. Bye-bye po.